morning or is it afternoon I'm not too sure good morning and welcome back to the channel so this is now a continuation of last week's video um, where we finally wrapped and painted the van so today because it's Saturday today my plan is uh, that's the sides wrapped it so my plan is literally got to get this all off get the wheel carrier off and then we're going to paint these panels here now the problem I've got is compared to last weekend where it was warmer in the t-shirt weather in the day you can see I'm wearing a beanie hat and my hoodie because it's a little bit chilly but I'm inside the unit and uh, my plan is literally to like I say to get the back doors done and then um, try and get the side skirts off cleaned up and maybe painted as well so that's what our plan is today but first things first I need to remove the wheel off the carrier and then take the carrier off so I'm gonna go and get it done there and I'll catch up with you in a bit easy as that So one of the best things about a mule wheel ladder, if you are ever by yourself and you break down, whew, it's as easy as that, uh, getting it off to change your spare tire. So that's it done. So now all I need to do, take the door lining from inside out, which will allow me access to the bolt here, and then I can get the spanner and I'll key onto these bolts and then remove the wheel carry. What did you say? I said, which, how long you worked here? A long time. Too long. Don't know if it's getting off. I wouldn't bother to be honest, I just. No, go on. Spell game. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't put the spanner. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's the wheel carrier off, and now we've just got a cl clean mask up along these lines with all the uh, stuff, and then obviously start sanding and paint. Morning, assistant. Good <laughs> morning. <laughs> What's your channel called? Life by the road. Life. No, it isn't, is it? Life on the road. Life on the road. Boom! Don't Boom. leave hanging. It puts you under pressure. It's a test. I probably won't use it, but. No. You can't see it, but that's all the uh, cover on all round those back panels. So that's just needs one more clean and then ready for painting. So I've taped up, as you can see, I've sanded. You can see that where it's sanded now. I've cleaned that about four or five times. So now all I'm doing is with my trusty Raptor, just put the hardener in and give that a shake for a couple of minutes and then we're ready to paint. Good wrist action, eh? See you in a bit. Myself again. Again? What advice have you been given? Have the softer wrist, wrist action. Um, put more shit on the roller. So that's the first coat done to the back doors. Um, 
because it's a colder day and the van's in the unit and all that sort of stuff, I think that's going to take longer to dry. So my initial plan of trying to get all these wrapped, I'm probably not going to get a chance to do them today, if I'm perfectly honest. So I've got to give that time to dry now. But that's the back doors. Coat number one. So that is two, well, almost three coatings of Raptor on the back doors. <laughs> uh, and now it's time to take all this off before it completely dries. Let's see what it's like. Back to the channel. Check this one around. Boom. Boom is like a stormtrooper. Done. And that's a wrap. And that it is it? It is. High five, don't leave me hanging. Boom, that's a wrap. So following on from the painting video, I think that's pretty much all we can uh do for now because obviously winter's approaching i've wasted a bit of time um with the summer months well not wasted it but um when i sh it was warmer i probably should have been painting then but anyway the sides are done uh the lower trim that i said i was going to do it's on and off rain at the moment the temperature is going to drop to about two degrees overnight so uh, i'm not going to persevere with doing the sides until probably post winter so my plan now uh continuing on is literally to start doing a few things on the interior i'm going to spin the camera around and show you what i mean just notice there's a big gap and there's something missing well we sold the oven the other day that's now gone off uh to its new owner so that's left a massive gap of where the oven used to be so my plan is um i'm going to I am going to buy a complete new work surface for the new style, but for now, I'm just going to remove this all the way to the back here. And then I'm going to take all that part out of the van. And then I'm going to box across at a certain height and that will then start to be my seat in a uh, like sofa area. I've already got the uh, sponge for the, the base and the back, and then it's just getting a, a liner uh, fabric for the actual seat covering. Uh, but this area here, from where it comes across to here, that section will pull out, which will allow me to put Archie's bed to then go on top. And then my other little plan is my fridge is lower down. I'm going to raise that up to this height and then underneath a little storage area. But I'm going to route the diesel heater trunk in uh, underneath the fridge, around the back and then into this original diesel heat, um, heating vent. That means from underneath Archie's bed comes warm air. So that's the plan there. So yeah, I, I wanted to get rid of that because obviously it's money in the bank and all that sort of stuff. But also it then gives me the in incentive to then start stripping that out. So that's going to be the plan probably next weekend. 
in area here well that is actually at the right size that i'd like my kitchen so i could raise that up to a suitable height up here um where my kitchen is going to be and the sink that's already in is going to be replumbed into this area here opposite the bed and then i'm going to buy like a tube uh gas burner hob just a small hob not an oven or anything like that and then the two burner hob will come here sort of thing and then that will be my kitchen area and i'll make some redesign this a little bit so make some storage underneath some pull out drawers at the side uh forward and all that sort of stuff but also in my cooking area i still have the ability to use this which would be like an extra chopping board area because my that is my work surface when I'm sat on the seat, but obviously that's no longer going to be able to use as a work surface because this will be the kitchen. Uh, my swivel seat is there and the sofa there, so I am probably going to look to get a lagoon table so I can either work on the sofa or on the front seat in the uh, front cab area. So there are future plans for possibly for next weekend in forthcoming videos and all that sort of stuff, and that will make a massive difference to the van these jobs uh getting especially getting rid of this ikea work surface that i put in will save so much weight uh on the driver's side of the van by building this sofa area and it, i just think it'll be a lot more comfortable a lot more warmly archie will have a nice pull out bed at night time he'll also be able to chill out on the sofa and so on and so on and then obviously like the kitchen area will be over here with the sink here and the hob away from this area here so that's our plans for the van my last update is literally i did a video where i said i was over the moon with those boxes the um, van der moon boxes um after a little tuna throw in and speaking to other friends and showing them i've decided i'm not going down that route anymore they look stunning uh they are uh, amazing for what they are but they are very expensive and that was my overarching factor um if I replaced all this with those 800 pound boxes, I'm just replacing what I've already got with something that's more expensive and does the same job. That was my thinking. So all I'm gonna do is uh, repaint all these and then the fabric that I use for the sofa is just make some new doors out of fabric uh, with wood and that and then just make it look a bit tidier. So yeah, those boxes, we're not gonna pursue that anymore. So. That is it. That's pretty much our update for this week. Again, thank you to everybody that watched our last video about Raptor painting. I love the look of the van now. Uh, it, as someone said to me, it looks like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. Uh, it's got his winter camouflage ready to go. Tomorrow we're going to fit the wheel carrier back to the van because overnight it should give the, uh, although it's touch dry already, give the Raptor paint a really good chance to dry onto the van and all that sort of stuff. And then next weekend um we will start stripping all this out so wish us luck and thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and all that sort of stuff and don't forget to leave us a comment and give us some love thanks again and we'll see you on the next video soon bye for now